Extra, extra, hear all about it. That's right, it's another exciting edition of Scoop Saturdays with your favorite Undersea Herald, Soul. And this week, my, oh my, I cannot believe what has been. We got like, I, I, it's like a bombshell almost. Not like a bombshell, but it's like there's something just going on all. I, I can't even contain myself. So, um, you know what? Let's just get started with it, right? So, our first bit of news. You guys remember that Pikachu game I teased last week? Well, there is a new Pikachu game in the works. There's like, it's actually pretty cool. I mean, we haven't seen, we didn't really, really get much news after it, but we're, we can't expect it till like for a while. But apparently there's like this blue or like weird Pikachu that can speak English and it's like evil and like people aren't supposed to like it and it's a little weird I don't exactly know what's going on with it I'm a little I'm, to be to be frank I don't even know what's like like uh, I don't think Pokemon has ever taken the turn like t- done anything like this I mean it's sort of like uh, I would compare it to like Pokemon Dash but I think there's like a Pokemon Troze mini game in it so I would imagine it's more like that uh, t- you know what? Ryan Swift just thought of this now. It's uh, maybe it's like a Professor Lay- Professor Layton for Pikachu. I would actually buy that. <laughs> That's not Sonic Lost World. I'm sorry. I'm excited because Sonic Lost World came out on October 29th, and I was so excited. I'm being really loud because the game is really fun, and I'm in the, like Frozen Factory as of this recording. But, uh, no, 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 no. Yes, I finished Frozen Factory, but um, I haven't started Silent Force. Anyway, game's amazing. What it is, it brings Sonic, our favorite blue hedgehog, and his best friend, Tails, to a mysterious, like, big spherical island called the Lost Hex, where he must battle against the Deadly Six, which are of a species called the Zeddies, which can control magnetic frequencies, which can control Eggman's robots, unless controlled with the cacophonic conch which sonic kicks out of his hand spoiler alert you must battle all six deadly six go into worlds like tropical coast frozen factory silent forest beautiful beautiful music very uh, fun game we have a podcast on it oddly enough and i mean we or the game itself phenomenal it brings a new parkour system into it you have to buy this game it's like one of those games like you may not like have it high on your list but it it's fun i can tell you that from one series with great music to another some legend of zelda news came out which when i'm pretty sure you know which game it's on but you may not know this news the legend of zelda a link between worlds has a 3ds xl coming I think we got teased on this before in like, like England or something, but like this for America came out or not came out. Maybe it's no, it's coming out with the game. I'm pretty sure it's a bundle and it looks beautiful. Like a lot of these are extravagant, not or, or, or I mean not all of them are extravagant, but like mm, some of them have like more details than other. Like the Pokemon X and Y one, they had a lot of detail, or the Zelda Ocarina of Time original 3DS. Uh, but this 3DS XL is very simple. The top of it's gold, the top, the bottom of it's black to mirror the. Uh, Two trifor- Triforces, Triforces in the game. That sounds so weird. Triforces. There's only been one. Uh, Triforces. I'm gonna say that in the game. Um, by the way, looks beautiful. It's be It's phenom. So yeah, I would definitely get it. <laughs> if you're a Zelda fan, it is worth getting. On Halloween, we got something not spooky, not anything related to Halloween. Um, we Fit Trainer has some news for Smash Brothers, and you guys know that everybody is a Smash If you're a Nintendo fan, you have to love Smash Brothers. It's like one of those games where if you say you don't like it, you're crazy. Like, you're not crazy, okay? I'm not gonna judge you. But, like, it's extremely fun. But We Fit Trainer, we, a lot of people are like, um, or, uh, I saw a site that said that this picture confirms a new character. It doesn't. We Fit Trainer has a male costume revealed this is more likely than not the character like customization or whatever sakurai teased when the game first was revealed um we don't, I don't maybe there's different stats i mean i don't know like it seems like that the 
for like male was like more on strength training while like the lady was for like aerobics or whatever so like maybe he's like slightly slower but has like bigger hits i don't know um we only see one picture um a lot of people see it's not a new character check the smash brothers site for yourself it's not we fit trainer male so yeah <laughs> however there was some gorgeous news so you guys i mean okay you definitely know i'm a pokemon fan it's in my name it's all over my room it is um, plastered on my face that I love Pokemon. So, we, um, recently people have been hacking the 3DS, and I pretty much see, uh, I think, I get you guys, guess you guys know where it is, but for those of you who don't, recently people have been, like, hacking in the 3DS, and we got something exciting. Well, like, okay, exciting. Alright, so, let me, let you think about that for a second. First of all, let me explain, and once I say this, you will absolutely know where I am going with this. What I refer to as the three mystical legendary Pokemon. It's been a tradition since Generation 4, with, sh uh, in order, Darkrai, Shaman, and, um, uh, Arceus. And then Unova had, I think this is in order, I might have gotten this wrong, Keldeo, Meloetta, and Genesect. Well, thanks to elite 3DS hacker, I mean amazing, top of the notch, Smeelum, we got the three mystical Pokemon that have been rumored for a little teeny bit now. First one, number 719, is Diancie, a fairy rock type. If you look at it, it is made out of crystals, and first thing I think of is Carbink. Look at under her gown, Carbink is there, like legitimately on its side. It's a Carbink or something like that, even though it's definitely not. Um, after that, uh, 720 is Volcanion, one of the like major ones. Personally, theory here, well, first of all, he's fire water. Uh, theory here, he is the fourth member of the uh, little trio. If you think about it, each, um, there's only one trio, counting the mystical trio that I'm talking about now, in Kalos, or Kalos, which is uh, Eveltal, uh, Eveltal, Xerneas, and uh, since the game has come out for, for like two weeks now, Zygarde. Um, and I think each generation has like um, a third one since Hoenn, or fourth one since, no, can't, Sinnoh actually, also Sinnoh, um, because Arceus uh, for the three dragons, um, uh, and then we had Keldeo for the Musketeer trio, so then this one, Volcanion, the problem I see with it, if it's anything, I would imagine it starts with a W, because you know, W, X, Y, and Z. So I would imagine it starts with a W, but it doesn't. It starts with a V, so I might be wrong with this. And it's Volcanion. It's like really weird. It's like red and it has like this big hoop with like blue circles on it. And I don't know what it's based off of. But the third one we got is ugly. First, let me explain. Every generation, even generation one, has had like a, a little fairy or sprite or cute legendary, which in order, Mew, Celebi, uh, Jirachi, Manaphy, uh, Victini, and this one, we think, is this guy right here. Psychic ghost type named Hoopa. It's ugly. Its name is Hideous. I don't understand it. It's kind of... It just sounds stupid. And I've seen it, and it looks stupid. <laughs> I'm hoping Diancy is it, but Diancy seems a little too big to be one of the fairy things, so I think it's Hoopa. Like, it's not even cute. Like, you cannot say, the only one that I guess you could say isn't, like, cute is, like, Manaphy because it's a little, like, I mean, it's cute, but it's not, it's more like beauty in a way. But all the other ones are cute. Jirachi's cute. Victini's cute. No, Victini's a little cute. Mew is a little cute. Solaby's cute. It's, okay, it's, like, Sprite, but everybody's, uh, Sprite, which is, like, Pixies, not the soda. But, yeah, these guys were leaked. I don't, <sighs> really excited for it. Just don't like Hoopa. Hoopa sounds like Poopa. Um, one last thing before we go. Well, actually, two things really quickly. The first one, I just like to squeeze it in. Nintendo Video is having some awesome updates, including the best YouTube series like out there that's animated, Bravest Warriors. And you, if you are a fan of anything Adventure Time, this is what you should watch. It's going to be on Nintendo Video. It's going to be in 3D. And there's other videos that, by the way, are amazing, too. Uh, coming soon you better go watch them or I will eat your soul because they are amazing the next thing I like to talk about is something you probably have not used in a while swap note 
<gasps> swap note, or if you're in certain regions, it's Nintendo Letterbox. Uh, swap note has been shut down for um, pa uh, exchanging of like offensive material or something. Uh, there's like a big quote about it, blah, 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 blah. I'm not gonna go into it. But yeah, uh, swap notes down until they can like, you know, not fix it, but you know, like find a way to resolve the issue, which I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not that hard. Just say like report for, I don't know, report for offensive material and then they'll go look at it. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, uh, uh, swap notes shut down. Which, I mean, I don't use it, but it's still really sad because I kind of like swap note. The idea of it was really cute, and now I can't go on it. Oh, actually, oh no, 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 no. The spot, the spot pass ones are down. I'm, I don't, I'm not sure if the street pass ones have been down, but they probably aren't, because I don't think street pass like runs on the internet, it runs on like Wi-Fi connect or, or wireless connection. But yeah, I'm kind, I'm like bummed out on it, but at the same time, I kind of don't care. So that is all for this episode. We were, I mean, it was an adventure, girl. It was an event. <laughs> But um, we, I hope you had a fun time. Um, and if you are looking for more excitement for the Mario Party Legacy, go to the website. You can subscribe to this channel for more Lost Levels juiciness. And if you want some extreme, extreme, fantastic amazingness, you better check out uh, Mushroom Sundays with your favorite fat, fabulous fungus, Toadette. This is Soul signing off. See ya.